everyone. Ooh, coming on a little late today. It's 11.28. Um, I've just been getting stuff done with Aubrey. I guess today's like a professional development day. So there's like no schoolwork for Aubrey. Um, even though I did have her do her math and reading on the laptop, just because I didn't know that it was a professional development day. So I like got a kickstart for doing her work. And I guess I didn't have to. Um, oh, it's hot, you guys. My dad's supposed to be coming over today. I hate classes sometimes, you guys. I really do. Um, my dad's supposed to be coming over today to put my ACs in. Um, there's like a whole bunch of stuff upstairs in my bedroom, you guys, that I need to put in like a big trash bag. They're basically like winter clothes of Aubrey's, basically. Um, so I need to get my water here that I have to put together here. Mmm. So she says she wants some mac and cheese. I did pick up this um this weekend. Picked up the six pouches of the Easy Mac. So, so I did pick that up. Oh my god, you guys, it's hot. It's like 70 something out and it's hot. Maybe because I was like upstairs moving around and all that. Maybe that's why I'm hot, but it is hot. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get Aubrey some mac and cheese. My niece is coming over today because it's Tuesday. My God, Aubrey was upside, upstairs, put her baby together and I was in my bedroom like going through a whole bunch of stuff. I gotta go downstairs where I had my um, big black trash bags and then I need to um, bring one upstairs so I can put a whole bunch of clothes in it. That's what I need to do. My God. <sighs> But, so I had half of a um, onion bagel with my coffee this morning. I'm still drinking my coffee. And I used some spray butter instead of like regular butter. It's supposed to be like lower calorie, all that type of stuff. So I did do that. Um, oh, I gotta, I wanna sweep Robbie's room like one more time. And then I can put her rug back in her room. Um, can do that today too. And actually, you guys, there's not much that I can do when I have Aubrey and my niece here. It's not really much. What's wasting food? What? Well, it wasn't good no more. Okay, can you go, please? Yeah. Oh yeah, yesterday. Um. So I didn't vlog yesterday because it was Memorial Day and we really didn't do much. Um, Aubrey had like a rough morning start of the day. So I didn't vlog yesterday. We didn't do no cookout or anything. I was actually like really gloomy and cold until the afternoon time. Um, but uh, I did go and cash in some cans yesterday. And then I did go to Walmart and get Aubrey some more um, shirts and stuff because she wants just plain colors. So I did get her that. Um, so yeah, but I am gonna um, get her food ready for, and everything you guys and I'll see you after. Hey guys, <clears throat> such a long day. That's why it's like 1120 and I'm just now updating you guys. Um, 
Yeah, long day with niece and Aubrey. Oh, what's wrong with my voice? <clears throat> my dad did come and put my ACs in, which I'm so thankful for, so thankful for. Um, Cause it was hot today, you guys, it was hot. I gotta take a shower before I go to bed. Even though it's late, I still gotta take a shower. Um, so I made some chicken and rice for Aubrey tonight and she didn't eat the whole piece of chicken. So I ate the other half with some Brussels sprouts for dinner. And then for my dessert, I had the rest of that enlightened ice cream that I had. So that's what I had. Wash these dishes real quick. I've been getting like super tired the past couple of days, like early, you guys. Like last night I was tired early. Tonight I'm already tired. So that means I'll be heading. I'll be. Tr I'll try to head to bed early. Well, earlier than what I normally do. Shouldn't say early because right now it's not early. So Aubrey didn't end up going to bed till like almost nine, you guys. It was crazy. Crazy. She didn't actually like, fall asleep until almost 9.30. Yeah. Oh. So. Then I came down here and like I said, I had my dessert and watching some news. Now I'm doing dishes. Maybe the heat like gets you more tired. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Oh. My eyes just like wanna shut you guys. <laughs> what the heck is up in my throat? What the heck? on that spoon. <laughs> the heck? My God. A couple more here, you guys. A couple more. Oh, you guys, so there's this family that I watch here on YouTube. Um, I'm, I can't think of their, their, the name of their channel right now on top of my head, but I will like, um, I'll insert like, <clears throat> I'll write like above the name. Um, but they, uh, went to China and adopted this little boy from China and, um, Obviously, he was in their family. They welcomed him in as, as a family member, all that. But I guess they didn't realize that he had all these problems and he's autistic and everything. And basically, they, um, hold on, guys. Basically, from what I'm getting out of the video, 
because they're not, they said that they're not allowed to, um, they don't want to put his, his information, like his business out, out there for everybody. But, um, basically like they like called the adoption place, which like I said, this is what I'm guessing from what <clears throat> they posted. They basically like either either he was being because like I said they didn't give up much information but what I'm guessing from having a child with autism this is what I'm guessing either he was starting to get violent I know he's younger than Aubrey so he was either starting to get violent they didn't have they homeschool so they didn't have the right resources to help him or they just couldn't handle it. All together, I just couldn't handle it. Because they already have family. And then the mother had a baby like a couple months ago. The mother had a baby. Or even longer than that. But they basically like... And they said in the video that he was like re-fostered into a different home. With people that could help him a lot more. Which, don't get me wrong. That's awesome that they he's with somebody that can give him more of the things that he needs. And the attention and all that. But it's the point that like... I could never imagine, like, adopting a child. And I know they didn't really know he had these problems when they adopted him. But that's like having a child that has problems. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, my God, I can't handle this. Or, oh, my God, like, they're they're getting so bad. They're getting so violent. And then you just give it to somebody else. Find it crazy, guys. Find it crazy. But that's just my opinion about it. Being a, being a p mother with an autistic child, like I completely understand how it is. <clears throat> um, but I could never imagine like just saying, "Oh, I can't deal with you, so I'm gonna give you to somebody who ha who can." And no. Yeah, no, not happening. <laughs> but yeah, so, oh, you guys, I'm tired. Tired, tired. Oh. Anybody else is sick of wearing these freaking masks? Oh, I'm so sick of it, so sick of it. <laughs> like, I try not to go out unless I really have to go out. Um, oh, what the heck? Um, I know, like, you don't have, like, <clears throat> okay, let me rephrase this. You have to, but no one's going to, like, come up to you and say, put that on, put that on, put that on, put that on. Like, I've never seen that. At the store, I've seen people at the store with no mask, and I've seen them leave no mask on, check out no mask on. Like, I don't know if they had it on while they were in, like, shopping, and then they took it off while they were checking out, but nobody says anything to them. So, a video of the incident in which an officer keeps his knee on the man's neck has gone viral. George Floyd could be heard saying, I can't breathe. Well, Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry announced earlier today that the four officers involved in Floyd's arrest have been fired. But worse tonight of this gunfire, obviously this is still a developing situation. We will continue and to continue to monitor that. And but you guys, so I am going to um, watch a little bit more TV and then I'm going to head upstairs. So I will see you guys before I go to bed.